Coffee chat day three. I know this is the date. It's day four today. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know it's day four. Ooh. You know the rules. Get yourself a coffee. Have myself a smoke. Let's just enjoy the vibe. I don't actually know what I'm going to be recording today, like I haven't wrote down any ideas, and none of them are coming to head, so. Like, I'm sure I'll figure out, like, a good few ideas, but, you know, it's, uh, I, I've used up most of my ideas because I'm, I've been just writing them down, like, every day, so, it's, it's getting to the point where, like, I don't really know what to record now, but I'm sure I can figure out something. Figure out something for you guys. Again, it is early morning. It is quarter past four right now. I woke up at around three, so, you know, I'm... I'm up early tonight. I'm up early today. I'm sorry. Went to sleep at half six yesterday just because I was exhausted. All right. Gonna upload the coffee chat that I recorded yesterday. Yesterday's coffee chat was probably the, was the shortest one. Not probably, is the shortest one. It's only 12 minutes or so. Spent, the yes, spent yesterday with my grandparents, so... Feeling pretty good. I have a video coming up maybe two weeks from now that is going to be about how you should appreciate spending time with your family. And I think that's a very important video to have uploaded because, you know, not a lot of people really appreciate time with the people that they spent, that they have a blood connection with. Not a lot of people spend time with the people they have a blood connection with. And, you know, like, they're, those people aren't going to be around forever. And we really need to, uh, we really need to be able to cherish that time that we have with them. So, yeah, that's why I think that video is going to be very important to have uploaded. So, I've uploaded day two, haven't I? No real way to check. Oh, I can change if I'm wrong, but yeah. Put that in the coffee chats playlist. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally dox myself by allowing places. I mean, you can't really like tell where I am, like the automatic places. Oh, uh, for those that are uploading YouTube videos, always disable that because if you don't, it will just dox you straight up. Uh, especially if you're going outside. If you're going outside, that it will dox you. It's weird how. The videos I'm uploading now are getting like views a lot quicker than the videos that I was uploading before like the rebranding of this channel and I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful that we're getting some more people watching this video, watching these videos and that we're, you know, really being able to like see growth happening in the channel. I mean, I haven't gained any subs. I'm still at 10 subscribers, but hey, we'll 
we'll get there eventually. I'm sure by the end of the year we'll have a few more than 10, so. It's only the end of March. That's, that's crazy to me. This year's gone by really fast. Well, it's gone by really fast, but it also feels like such a slug. Because, like it felt, it felt like a year has passed. But at the same time, it felt like it was just Christmas yesterday. So, I don't know, like, the years are moving by faster nowadays. Just part growing up, I assume, but, eh. I'm finally getting used to going to church and going to mass and all. Getting used to, like I, I know a little bit more about what I have to say when I have to say something at mass, and it's, I don't know, like it's it's nice. I only started going to church last Friday, and I've been going pretty much every day except for the days where it's closed. And that's been like working for me pretty well because it's like I have to spend more time in the house of God. And that really, like it's helped me feel more connected to my God and it's helped me like turn away from my sins that little bit more. Like, you know, I, I'm still a sinner at the end of the day. I still have like darkness in my heart and in my mind. Like last night I had a dream where it was just sin. And you know, like that does worry me. But I also know that when I have a dream about sin, it means I'm doing something relatively right. Because it means that I'm moving away from it. Like, I've noticed uh, every time I'm on a good, like, no fap streak and all that sort of shit, I tend to have dreams about it when I'm, like, really far in. And, I don't know, like, it's, it's one of those weird things where it's like, I don't like it because it's a scary thought, like, not... I can't tell, like, dreams apart from reality when I'm dreaming. I mean, so can... Like, you know, everyone can't, right? But it is so nice to know that I have moved far away from it. I have moved far enough away from it that my mind is starting to, like play tricks on me to try and get me back and like I don't know like it's just one of those sort of weird things where it feels like a good sign when my dreams become polluted that way but I still don't like that my dreams are being polluted in that way but you know it's a uh, We'll get there, we'll, we'll move away from sin slowly, and we will slowly become more and more pure in that way. smoking counter from yesterday I ended up not being able to get the nine smokes that I wanted to get like I want to get this down to nine 
because the day before I got it to 10. But as you can tell, I got 13, so I overshot by 4. Which means that I need to, uh, you know, I need to be more careful today. I need to really try and limit myself. I think the main problem, honestly, is just that I'm up early most days. But, yeah, no, smoking isn't that good. Like, honestly, it isn't that good. Because when you start having, like, a fair few smokes throughout the day, this is for non-smokers so that you can not be tempted to smoke. When you start to have, like, a few smokes throughout the day, you get really tired. Like, nicotine will make you tired throughout the day. Like, yesterday I wasn't really full of energy at all. I was just exhausted trying to get through it. Also, a little drawing of a cat. Shitty little drawing of a cat, but hey. Still drawing. Oh, I'm nearly done my coffee. This is gonna be a short video then. If I record these in the middle of the day, I feel like I have a lot more to talk about. Like, I have a lot more to say. I'm a lot more energetic, but since I'm recording these, like, nearly first thing in the morning, it's like, my brain's still trying to wake up, and I'm just putting it into this situation where, like, it has to come up with some random ideas and essentially have a conversation that is very one-sided. Because, you know, I'm just, like, talking to a camera. I hope it feels like I'm talking to you, but I'm just talking to a camera right now. And it it's very weird having to have, like, that sort of conversation when there's no one talking to you. But I hope it feels like you do have, I hope it does feel like you're having a coffee with a friend right now. Speaking of, done my coffee. I'll still, uh, I'm going to keep it going a little bit longer just so that we can have like a little bit more of a, of like a vibe because, you know, just ending it after the I'm done my coffee, just feels very, like it just feels very immediate, you get me? Here. Might as well start right now with a few video ideas. If you're just here to have like the little coffee chat, uh, you can go now, this is just, this is just me trying to spitball ideas out onto a page. Oh. Man, I'm tired. I shouldn't be waking up at 2. That is like, that's well too early for me. But. Hey, my, my body wakes up when my body wakes up. I like a good 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. sleep time. Like, that. Uh, that's probably my favorite sort of sleep schedule to have. Just because it doesn't feel like it's too early in either regards. 8 to 4 a.m. is, like, you know, it's good, but... 
it's getting a little bit too much. And then what I did yesterday, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., that, like, we, we don't want to do that. That's, that's exhausting. But just yesterday, I was so exhausted throughout the day that I just had to sleep because I had nothing else to do, really. Pick a thumbnail for the video now. Yeah, sure that thumbnail will do. And I don't really put that much effort into like after the videos. I just sort of record these, speak my mind, record the video ideas I have written down. And then that's sort of just it. Like I like I've stopped editing and and everything because I want to like have this be a more authentic experience. Like, I hope it does come across as authentic rather than lazy, but I mean, it's kind of both. It's kind of both, really. And also, I don't think the laptop that I'm currently running can actually edit videos because already on the, on my better laptop that I was using, like it took the whole day for the video to just be prepared to be edited. So I had to like record the video, upload it into my editing software, and then I just had to wait for the rest of the day until I could actually start editing. And then I had to wait for it to be exported. Then I had to wait for it to be uploaded. And it was just like, I was doing a full day's of work and I was just waiting for most of it. Like, I was only getting, like, two hours of work actually done. And the rest was just waiting. And it was awful. So I've started, like, doing this more authentic style has been pretty good. Because I can get more done. And I don't have to wait for, like, the whole day to actually have something recorded. And up edited and ready to upload. Alright, and that is Coffee Chat Day 3 uploaded. Uh, oh, excuse me. Alright. And that's Coffee Chat Day 4 done being recorded. See you in the next one. Keep running when no one else is.